Hey creative friends, it's Bethany at The Pink Hutch and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make these marbleized ornaments that you can customize with any color. These ornaments were popular about two years ago in 2019 in the blogger world and today we're going to be making our own. Let's go ahead and go over the materials you'll need today. You'll of course need some clear ball ornaments. Today I'm going to use some plastic ones. This is a four inch size and this one I believe is just a little bit under three inches. So there's the size difference there. You've got a jumbo one and I think this could be like a standard ball size. And then you'll also need a plastic cup. You'll need one cup per ornament so that you can drain the excess paint later, like this. And then you'll also need craft paint. Today I'm going to use pink, white, and a lavender color. Now I prefer to use the matte craft paints. The satin ones tend to be a little bit runny, so try to look for the ones with the tan cap on them. You'll also need some paper towels. Here I've already cut them up into tiny pieces that I'll use later on. And here's the slide to screenshot your materials list, or you can also check the description below for a link to the Amazon supply list. The clear plastic ornaments are everywhere right now and most likely on sale at your local craft stores. There's some iridescent ones and even some with different textures. Let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to take my large ornaments and what you want to do is just squeeze that top together so that you can pop off the ornament hook and then just put it in a safe place that you can find later. Then take your first color. I'm going to go with the white first and what you want to do is pour just a little bit of craft paint inside your ball ornament. So not very much at first. Get your second color and you're going to do the same. Just go ahead and drop some in there. And then your third color, you're going to do the same. So now I've got three colors inside my ball. Grab a piece of your paper towel and you want to place it at the end just in case so that no craft paint goes all over the place and you just want to start to shake it and swirl it around. So you can kind of see them mix together just a little bit. I'm going to tap it so that they go down the sides and keep shaking it. So you can kind of see the colors start to roll down the sides of your ornament. And I'm just going to tap all around, shake it a little bit so that I can coat the inside. looks pretty cool so far. Now I'm going to add some more paint and start to focus on a different section of my ball. So I've got some white in there, some pink, and some more lavender. And you just want to kind of focus on one section at a time. So I'm going to do the same thing, shake it a little bit, and let the colors swirl together. It's looking pretty cool. Cool. 
You're going to repeat the process until you've got your ornament about 90% covered. You just want to keep alternating your paints and switching different areas to coat. And just a quick pro tip, the more high contrast your paints are, like mixing pastels with some brights or some darker colors with lighter colors, the more cooler it's going to look when you marbleize those paints together. By now, you should have the majority of your ball ornament covered with paint inside, but you're going to see a lot of these gaps. So all you want to do, since there's already enough paint in there, is to just tap it on the areas and keep shaking it. And eventually, that'll start to cover the gap. As you're tapping and shaking your ball ornament around, make sure you're keeping that paper towel at the opening of your ball ornament. You don't want to have paint flying out everywhere. Once your ornament is fully coated on the inside, take a look at how cool that looks. Now don't get attached to the way it looks now because we're going to drain this ball upside down and it's going to continue to do a marbling around it. So carefully take off that piece of paper towel and discard it. Grab your cup and then place your ornament with that opening side down so that the excess paint can drain. And here's what they look like when they're draining upside down. As you can see, the extra paint is draining out of that opening in the ornament. And here's a close up of what that looks like. As gravity pulls the extra paint out of the opening, your ornaments are still going to keep marbleizing. This batch over here has been drying for two days, so now I'm going to flip them over and I'm going to let these dry with the opening facing up for two more days. As I mentioned before, when you're draining these ornaments, gravity is pulling the paint out of the opening of the ornament, and it creates different patterns that you can't really predict. I love how these turned out. This one reminds me of an eye cat pattern, and it looks super cool. And this one's pretty dry now, so what I'm going to do is just pop the ornament hook back on top, squeeze it so that you've got those two legs closer to the middle. I don't know if y'all can see that, but place your ornament hook back on, and that should pop back on pretty easily. And you've got your own, very own, customized marbleized ornament. You can kind of see how it marbleized more as the paint was draining. It's pretty neat. And these are my basket of ornaments that are ready to hang. I mixed it up a little bit and made some solid color ones too. These look so fun and I cannot wait to hang them on my tree. Thank you so much for watching this video. Comment below and let me know what colors you'll be using. I'll see you in the next video.